Hi all, in this video, let's learn about JavaScript interview questions. So this is a part 14 of this interview questions playlist. So I will keep entire playlist of this JavaScript interview questions at the end. Okay, please check that as well. So let's get started. So we'll discuss some of the JavaScript interview questions with this code snippets. Okay, the first main intention is not to solve this question itself, but we will be learning the concept behind this code snippet. Fine, we are passing we are calling a function and passing a value and now this value will be cached by this org augments now we are trying to find the type of this argument what is this type of this argument string number object or not a number so what would be so first thing before checking this we need to understand whatever the value you pass here and uh, you're uh, catching that with aux it would be cached in the form of an array so it will catch this in the form of array like this Okay, now what we'll be having in this line. So we're trying to know about the type of this array. Okay, what is the type of array in JavaScript? So in JavaScript, we need to understand one thing. Arrays are objects in JavaScript. So that's the reason when you do a type of operator on array, you'll be getting object as a output. So this is what we'll be getting. So this is the output here. The concept behind this is, so here you are, it is like your, uh, using the rest operator so rest operator it will catch the elements list of elements in an array okay so that's the reason these arrays or these are not these arguments are not uh, arrays so there are type of arrays uh, all functions will not be there for this so it will have only few properties like length property only you can use to these arrays you can't use push and pop operations on this Okay, only you can use a length operator. So these arguments are like arrays, but not exactly arrays. Okay, fine. So this concept is about the arguments related one. So now the type of argument arguments is like an object because arrays in JavaScript are like objects. Fine. Coming to the second question. So here you can see we have an employee object. So let me uncomment this one. So we have an employee object. Fine. With this employee object, we are trying to create one more object with the help of object.create. We could able to clone this employee object into the employee one, right? Now, what we are going to do is we are trying to delete the property of this employee company from this employee one. We're trying to this delete the property from this employee one object, company property we are trying to delete. So what would be the output? If once it is deleted, will do we get undefined here? Okay, as uh, the property was deleted, do we get undefined here or what? What will be getting here? So surprisingly, the output will be here. We'll be getting x, y, z. So once you try to delete this property, and now let you are trying to access that property. Even after deleting that, if you are trying to access that property, you will be getting x, y, z. The reason behind this is this employee one has company property, right? But this is not its direct property. You got this company property through the prototype property. So you got this company property here through the prototype property. So that's the reason. So that is the main reason you can't delete this because this company property is not a direct property of this employee one. You got this from the prototype prototype property. It means you got it from the employee prototype property. You got this company property. That's the reason you can't delete this company property. Okay, that's the reason when you try to access it, it is again, you, you could able to access this. So you can check this in this way. For example, uh, I can keep one more console. I can say employee one dot has own property. So we have a, uh, one more uh, method called has own property. So with this as own property, you can check whether this company is its employees own property or not. You can check here. So it will return as false because this company is not the employee one property. This company is employees property. That's this employee object own property. Employee one has, uh, it will not have 
company has its own property so that's the reason you are unable to delete that property and also through prototype inheritance you could able to get this company okay so these are the reasons so whereas you can directly delete you so you can do this so if you want to delete this employee dot company you can do this this is a valid one because you're directly deleting the property of the employee but here you are unable to delete this because you got this property through the prototype property okay and also this property is not its own property so these are the reasons why you could be able to delete it and if you here access it once you are deleting so most of us say that we uh, this uh, property was deleted so they feel that we'll be getting undefined here but we'll be getting xyz here because you are not deleting this property here as this is not its own property fine so coming to the third one so the third one is mostly related to the scope part i have an object called my object in that i have a property called this and also i have a function so this is also one more key and we have a function to this key okay we have an object we have two properties one property has a string value the another property has a function as its value now i am calling this object dot function so it means i am calling this object dot function i am trying to access this function now what all the consoles i will be getting what all the values here i will be getting so when now you are assigning this to the self okay now in this this refers to my object here in the function in this function this refers to the my object that's the reason now this refers to my object so here this dot foo means we'll be getting bar here so we'll be getting the bar here and the next line also this is assigned to self so that's the reason this now self is also referring to this my object so that's the reason we'll be getting bar here okay now what happened now what happens is we are going to in inside this anonymous function this this is a inner function okay we have a function already and now we are going inside another function where this function is called automatically by itself by this anonymous uh, statement okay it is called itself here inside this inner function now this is no longer is pointing to the my object so that's the reason here we'll be getting undefined if it is trying to access the foo this property okay but this property is not available it is not aware of this foo because here this is not referred to my object okay that's the reason we'll be getting undefined here whereas still self has the value of um, this foo because you have assigned here to this variable here self will have this instance of my object so that's the reason you will be getting bar here so this is what we will be getting the output the only part here we need to understand is to the inner function so the function which is calling itself this is an anonymous function where here inside this function now this this is no longer pointing to this my object so that's the reason we are unable to access this value so we are getting undefined whereas the self you are already assigned this value this value my object reference to this self so it can able to access this because this var is a function level scope so that's the reason here you are happily accessing this foo property fine this is about the scope related thing you need to understand this will not have uh, access to the main object inside the another function okay fine so coming to the fourth part fourth point so here we have a function here yeah, for loop where you, we are uh, having we are looping through this for loop for five times and we are creating the button and uh, it's text with the i value and adding an event listener to it and appending that to the document so this is what we are doing for now what we'll be getting is we'll be getting we are creating five times button component and we are attaching its text to this button like this button of 0 button 1 button 2 like this we are giving text to that button and we are adding some event listener to this button so whenever i click something you are going to return back this console.log so this is what we will be getting this is what our intention so let's see what is going on here we have five buttons okay now if i click button 4 i am getting five as a value so even if i click 3 
third button, second button, first button, zero button, whatever the button I click, the I value I'm getting as five. So what is the reason behind this is, once you are done with this looping, the I value will be five, okay? Once you have created all these buttons, all these buttons will be created. And now the I value is five. As I is a global scope, like uh, it is a functional level scope, I value at the end, it will hold five as its value. So that's the reason whatever the button is clicked, you are getting five as a value. So now how to overcome this? I want whatever the button I click here, I want to console it's logged. Like if I click button four, I need to get four. If I click three, I need to get three as in the console. So how to achieve this? So let's discuss two solutions for that. Okay, now you understood, right? Why I'm getting all the time I'm getting five because once the for loop execution is done, the I value is five. That's the reason whenever you click these buttons, you are getting the five as a value, irrespective of the which button you are clicking. So how to resolve this is the first easiest way is remove this the var and keep the let. So this is a block level scope, okay? Where var is a functional level scope and it is a global variable. Only one i would be there here, okay? Whereas if you just replace this var functional level to the let, and now if you see, let me show it. If I click four, it is getting four, three, two, one. So this is a quick solution of removing the var and keeping the let. So one more solution is like, you can keep the var like this itself. And now uh, let me show you this. So you, you have a function here, right? So whenever a button is clicked, this function, this callback function would be called. What we are going to do is, let me call this function as an anonymous function, okay? I will keep this anonymous function like this and I will call this function, okay? I will keep the i here. So it means I am calling this function when a button is clicked and I am passing the i value here, okay? And this i will be hold here, okay? I'm passing this i value and this function is catching this i value. And now I need to return back this value, right? So that's the reason I'm writing one more function. Okay. And I'm returning back this console to that function. Let me open the brace and let me close it here. Okay. You're getting this right. So what I have done, whenever a button is clicked, a click event is happened. I am calling this function with the i value, the present i value. And we are holding this i value inside this function. This i is cached by here. And now we are returning back this console as a function. So now let's see this. So whenever you run this, now we'll be, we have solved that problem, okay? This is because we are trying to hold this i value in each and every iteration and we are holding that i value in this function. So that's the reason whenever a button is clicked, specific button is clicked, that specific button's text or specific button i value is returning back when you are clicking. So this is a second solution and the simple solution is you can keep let here, okay? So these are the two solutions. So these are the four important interview questions through which you can learn some of the main points. Like here we have arguments as an array and arrays in the JavaScript are objects. So that's the reason the type of would written object. So likewise, you have a prototype, play your uh, inheriting and a property. So this property, you can't delete it, okay? And uh, also this is related to the scope, the inner scope, this will not have access to the foo. Like, likewise, how to resolve this problem, the buttons problem is like, you, you can keep let here. Also, you can add the inner function logic, anonymous function logic like this. Hope you understand this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.